Hey yo guys, we're back in Grand Peace. We know for another video in hockey, all right? Since I made a video on how to get hockey, I told you guys that I knew how to solo it, or I mean like a bunch of people know how to solo it. You just gotta find your own method, but I soloed it using my own method, and I'm going to share that method with you guys. You guys can use it if you guys want to. I don't know if it's the fastest, if it's the slowest, or if it's just, you know, another way. But I just know that it's it's a method, you know, it's a method that I used. And I just use one source style, which you, if you're level 80, you're going to have some one source style skills already. Even before that, you want to set your spawn at Mink Island so that you, if you do die, which with this method, you don't die. You won't die, period. You will not die, all right? Uh, you spawn at mink just in case if you do die uh, and then also you gotta have a have a gun like either a cannon pistol something that is a ranged move uh, you don't necessarily have to but very recommended and then just head to yeti or yeti island which is south of mink island with this method you'll kill like four yetis in what like maybe less than five minutes depending on your level and how much damage you do I don't know how black leg farms because uh, black leg is pretty close range combat it doesn't have many range moves at all so I'm not too sure how black legs farms Roku has a has many range moves well not many but it has a range move and let's see mink uh mink I think kinda has a range move, but not really. Not the best. All right, but here we are on the island. Get on top where the quest will be. Grab the quest if you have not grabbed it. All right, I'm already getting sniped. Anyways, you wanna go up here and climb up with this part right here. And these are the yetis you are going to farm right here. You have one, two, three, ow, four yetis right there. And that guy just came from over there. So anyways, what you want to do now is trigger. Make sure you shoot that one this way. Make sure you shoot it towards you and not away from you. Like the knockback. And then you can also shoot this one. And then with this one bottom here, you could just use E and hit him like that. I think you could do it with this guy too let me see yeah you can see just like that all right they'll all be aggro on you and stay back enough where the snowballs don't hit you and just like that you put your cursor on the yetis press e and there you go just that's it you just spam e spam e and they'll all die in one go you get like four kills and uh, once that happens, the yetis spawn pretty quick. You'll just re-aggro them back here. Do the same method and keep on going. It may seem long, but it's four. Let's here. Let's 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 do a bit of math, alright? So I'm killing this right now. I'm doing a bit. I'm doing like 40 damage. You guys, let's just say you'll do like 20 damage by the time you're here, alright? So I'm killing it. I'm not too sure how long it'll take me. So far, it's been probably like a minute, two minutes. So let's just say it'll take you four minutes to kill these four yetis down here using this E method, which will take you almost two hours, but not, not that bad, you know, not that bad. And just like that, I got the kills. You know, see, look, they already spawned back just like that. Very, very laid back method. You can always, always like gank these guys with your friends. Even then is a kind of a actually difficult time. But if you're like probably a high, high level, maybe you have max sword already and you have dragon blaze, dragon blaze, oh, just use dragon blaze, that's it. The AOE is huge, you'll grab them all. You might actually knock them back a bit too far which is not good but yeah you could use c you could use dragon blaze and uh caliber and that will work just fine it might just it might just use a lot of stamina though 
Dragon Blades, let's try that again real quick. With Dragon Blades, you'll have to like jump off a bit and then go like that. Just like that. Ooh, be careful about that. They almost got up here. <laughs> Yo, okay, yeah, you see, you don't want to stand too close. Just like that. And all the other moves you really can't use against them because you don't want to go down there with them. You that's like the one thing you want to avoid. That's the one rule when you are farming these guys. And just like that, they are dead. You're dead. Okay. And if you have Roku, I don't think that the kick move actually goes through the blocks. So you might have to like jump off a bit and then do it. But you know, you might get hit by snowballs. So I'm really recommending this method for swordsmen, for, for, for first sword styles users. Um, I'm not really seeing any other style users doing this method because of the, how our our first move goes through blocks actually. That's why this works so well. Um, yeah, with black leg, you just you get you get up and close with all the moves, which is why black leg is so good sometimes. I mean, it it, it does very good damage up close. That's why black leg is good for PvP. Um, sword for sure is good at range, range, but yeah, hitting people, hitting the yetis with range weapons, if you have like max range, I wonder how that looks <laughs> with max range, but yeah. And also if you guys are curious, I'm going to insert a clip of what the double fruit notifier sounds like and what it looks like if you guys have not seen it before. If this video helped you at all, drop a like. 50 likes is the goal, and 20k for 20 uh, 2020 is the goal as well. And you guys, we're reaching it. We're at 400 away now. 400 away. I appreciate you guys' support. It's actually insane. I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.